Hello and welcome to Miss Ma's grade 10 math class. This is 2.1, the midpoint of a line segment. So a midpoint is a point that divides a line segment into two equal line segments. It's halfway between the two endpoints. So if I have a line like this, a B like that, that's a line segment, and I wanted to find the midpoint, it would be halfway between them. So these should be the same length, and I could call it M, usually I call it M or maybe M sub AB, that means the midpoint between A and B, like that. And it has an equation, uh, M is equal to X1 plus X2 over 2, Y1 plus Y2 over 2, and it's a point, so that means it's a coordinate, right? So it's an XY coordinate, so this is the X value, and this is the Y value. You have to make sure you put the brackets around it, otherwise it is not a coordinate. So you can see that this is actually the mean. We're adding up the two numbers and dividing by two. So it's actually kind of an easy formula to remember. Now let's use it in a, an example. So a city has two hospitals shown on the city map as A35 and B1114. We don't actually need the map because we have the coordinates. So they want to build a new ambulance station halfway between the two hospitals. Halfway tells us it is midpoint. So determine the coordinates of this location. So all we have to do is plug it into the formula, right? So we're going to find the midpoint of AB, and you have to write the formula every single time. So don't skip it, just it's really important. And especially when you're doing your work in class or maybe you're doing some work at home, you want to make sure you always write it out because uh, that helps you to memorize it, right? So 3 plus 11 over 2 and 5 plus 14 over 2, it gives us 3 plus 7 is 14, divide by 2, 7. 5 plus 14 is 19 over 2. That doesn't simplify. And we're going to leave it as an improper fraction. So because it's a word problem, we are going to write a word solution, and then we're going to be done. So the station, the ambulance station, should be built at 7, 19 over 2. And that will be exactly halfway between the two station or the two hospitals. Okay, next. Determine an equation for the median from vertex C for the triangle with vertices C52, A negative 3, 3, and B2 negative 5. So the median, in case you don't know, is going to be the line connecting a vertex and the opposite midpoint. Okay, so if I have a triangle, they're going to be opposite. It goes through one vertex and one oop, mid, midpoint. I was starting to write median there. Opposite midpoint. Okay, so we're going to find the midpoint, and then we're going to have to find the equation of the line. So it might be easiest to just do a little sketch first. So I'm going to draw my axes here. And if you have graph paper, then you are good to go. You really need to get some graph paper for this unit. Um, and just label that X and Y. You should always label your axes. And we're going to just sketch in C52, which is like um, 5 over and 2 up. I'll say it's about there. C52, and I'll label it because it's not quite accurate. It's just a sketch. So A, negative 3, 3 goes up like there somewhere. And B is 2, negative 5. So 2, 1, 2, and negative 5 like that. B. 2, negative 5. Okay? And we connect the dots and we'll get our triangle. So if you have a ruler, you can use it. And it gives me my triangle. So basically, I want to find the midpoint of AB, which is going to be somewhere along here. I happen to know it's like right there. And then I'm going to find, <laughs> you can see that my diagram is not very good. And then I'm going to find the line that goes through it, right? So I'm going to find just trying to change my colors, I'm going to find this line that goes through the midpoint in the vertex, like that. So I want to find the equation of that line. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is find that midpoint, so I'm going to call that M, and uh, I use my formula. Again, I have to write it out, x1 plus x2 over 2, y1 plus y2 over 2, and then we put our x coordinate negative 3 plus 2 over 2, so the a and the b, and 3 plus negative 5 over 2, like this. So we get negative 3 plus 2, that's negative 1 over 2, and 3 minus 5 is negative 2 over 2, negative 1. So that's our m, you can label it if you want, uh, negative 1 half and negative 1. 
Okay, so that gives us two points on our line, and now we can just find the equation of that line, and that will be our median. So I've got M and C, so find the slope of MC. That's what we want to do to find our line. So we're going to do delta Y over delta X, or Y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Again, writing out our formulas always. So y2 will to c minus negative 1 over 5 minus negative 1 half. And so this ends up being 3 over 11 over 2. So flip this compound fraction and you get 6 over 11. And if you're not sure how to do compound fractions, you can come and ask me in class because it's kind of important. Okay, so we've got our slope and now we're going to put, put that into the equation y equals mx plus b. I'm going to use c, but you could use m if you want um, because I just like c better. It has integers. So um, I know that my y is 2 and my m is 6 over 11 x is 5 plus b, and this will give me my y-intercept. So 2 equals 30 over 11 plus b. So b is equal to uh, 22 over 11 minus 30 over 11, which is negative 8 over 11. So that gives me my equation, right? y equals 6 over 11x minus 8 over 11. So that is our equation. So we're going to write the answer here, the median through C is y equals 6 over 11x minus 8 over 11. Hooray! Okay, so let's do one more. Two schools are located at the points P, negative 1, 4, and Q, 7, negative 2 on a TAN map. And the school board is planning a new sports complex to be used by both schools. The board wants to find a location that is equidistant from the two schools. So equidistant means equally distant, right? It's uh, the same distance between the two of them. And it doesn't mean that it has to be at the midpoint, okay? Because uh, if I have P here and Q here, oops, like that, then I could I could have a point like let's say right here that is equally distant from P and Q as long as this is the same distance. Well you'll notice that if I if I drop the perpendicular right like this, this is going to be perpendicular and this is going to go be equal to this, right? Because that's how isosceles triangles work. So that's actually um, tells us what we need to find because this is the line that goes through the midpoint, right, and is right angle to PQ. So that, that gives us all the information we need. Now if you think that you could do this on your own, why don't you just pause the video and do it? Um, and if not, you can follow along with me. I'm going to do it right now. So um, the equation to represent the possible locations for the sports complex is going to be this line right here that goes through the midpoint and is a right angle to PQ. So the first thing I'm going to do is find the midpoint of PQ. And again, I have to write that formula out. Don't get lazy. And so I'm going to get negative 1 plus 7 over 2 and 4 minus 2 over 2 which gives us um, 3, 2, no, 3, 1, sorry. So that's the midpoint. And now I want to find the uh, slope of PQ because I want to find the perpendicular, right? So the slope of PQ is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And my points were uh, 4 plus 2 and negative 1 minus 7. So I get 6 over negative 8, which simplifies to negative 3 over 4. And remember when you're using fractions that, um, you know, 3 over negative 4 is the same thing as negative 3 over 4, which is the same thing as negative 3 over 4. So I could put the negative wherever I want, just a side note. So that is the slope of PQ. I want to find the perpendicular slope of PQ, which is going to be the slope uh, that I want. So it's going to be the 
a negative reciprocal. Negative, this is negative, so it's going to be positive, and the reciprocal, flip it over. So we're going to use the slope 4, 3, and the point 3, 1, and we're going to use y equals mx plus b like this. So let's do it. 1 equals 4 over 3 times 3 plus b. So b is equal to negative 3, and that gives us our equation. So y equals 4 over 3x minus 3. Okay, and we'll just write the answer as a word answer because it's a word problem. Use an equation to represent possible locations for the sports complex. So to be equidistant from both schools <laughs> the sports center must be on the line uh, y equals 4 over 3x minus 3. The end. Okay, so we did a few things today. First of all, we learned the equation for a, uh, midpoint, and we used it to find the median, the line of the median, and we also used it to find the line that is equidistant from two points um, by finding the perpendicular slope. So I hope that you enjoyed it. Bring any questions you have to class and I will see you soon. Bye!